guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming some videos with some new products to my collection. Obviously you guys clicked on this thumbnail so you know I'm gonna show you guys how I created this eye look using the 39 Hit The Lights palette from Morphe. Now I had no intention of buying this palette. I kind of feel like I even roasted this palette in one of my recent Will I Buy It videos. But if you guys are a frequent viewer of my channel, you know that I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is where the Mall of America is located. Well, it's located in Bloomington. These are semantics, but anyway. And I happened to be there the day that this palette launched, and I was like, why not? And honestly, I did swatch the palette before buying it in store, and I thought it was pretty cute, and my husband wanted to get me something just to like, treat me and so I was like why not get this palette and film a little video for you guys so yeah it's huge I'm not gonna lie um, but I like the packaging and stuff I think it's really nice that they departed from their cardboard packaging the black one I'll show you comparisons in a second here but I do want to go ahead and swatch this guy for you really quick so here is the inside as you can see there are Lots and lots and lots of things to swatch. So it does come with a card, which I have now lost. But basically each section, like each section of like eight shadows was created by a different creator. So I'm just gonna swatch by quadrants just so we can kind of keep it all straight. So these are the shades that I used in my crease today basically, all these bright red shades. I haven't, you know, played with Morphe reds in quite some time. So here are those four shades in the first section. And I'm gonna swatch the shimmer shade that I used on my eyes and then the other shimmers in that row. And here are those shimmers. Can you guys see those? They're super beautiful and they swatch beautifully. And this first shade is the one that's actually on my lid today. Super beautiful. I'm actually really impressed with this palette so far. Okay, next I'm gonna swatch like the more neutral section as well as the press glitters. So here's those. I'm gonna swatch that on the top of my hand. There's those. I think these would make such a beautiful festive eye look for the season. And then the next row is more of a smoky, silvery gray kind of row. And then there's like a matte black with shimmers in it. Not really my favorite formula, but that's okay. There's so many shades. That's a pretty pigmented black. So that's the one quadrant. This is the other quadrant. So very like holiday-esque, very like traditional kinds of shades. Then we're gonna move on to this section right here, which is kind of like giving me Colored Rain Queen of Hearts vibes. And I kind of like that. I really like how much variety is in this palette, to be honest. So these are all shimmers. And Morphe's really kind of like, I don't know, stepped it up a little there. I mean, granted this palette is more expensive as well. Those ones are kind of hard to see, but there's the more pink tones. And then they have like a blue-brown pigment type shade. There's the rest of that row. So this is one quadrant, this is another quadrant. This is one quadrant. So I've swatched three quadrants so far. And then I'm gonna swatch the last quadrant on my other hand. This is the neon one. I did try to create a look with this neon section and I will show you my eye look fail because uh, not every look is a winner some days, you know what I mean? But look at this duochrome, like Morphe killed that. It's like a blue duochrome. I think there's a similar shade in Manny's Strawberry Dreams palette. And then they did another duochrome in this section. It's that green. It kind of reminds me of 
um, ColourPop's Tea Party. Did you guys see that? So those two are duochromes in this palette, which I thought was pretty impressive for Morphe. I don't know that they've done a lot of duochromes in their palettes. Do you guys know if they have? So now I want to swatch this middle section, which is supposed to be like highlighters. And these look so glittery and delicious. I'm really excited. And I think you could definitely use these on different skin tones. You could also definitely put these on your eyes. So there's the first four highlighters. I feel like I could definitely use a majority of these on my face. Sorry, there's only seven highlighters, I'm sorry. And then this is, these two, I was like shocked that Morphe would even do something so different. And here's that purpley shade, it's like a white duochrome, and I actually have that shade tucked in in my inner corner, so I'll show you that in the look. So. Here are all of the swatches of the Morphe palette, the holiday palette, the Hit the Lights palette. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the swatches and the close-ups. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I created this eye look. Just so you guys know, there's two looks. One was a fail, because I started it off and I tried to do a cut crease and it was an epic fail. But I wanted to show it to you guys just because I think it's important that people realize that YouTube isn't like perfect all the time. So if you don't want to see that, I will try and remember to leave a timestamp below so you guys can see how I created this look. Okay guys, filming an eye look today. I'm gonna film an intro, but I want to show you guys, I did a little shopping at the Morphier store at the Mall of America. <laughs> My husband's like, it's Morph, it's not Morphe. So I did actually end up picking up the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab, and I will do a separate video on that. But I was in the vicinity the day this palette came out, and even though I made so much fun of it, it was actually much prettier in person. So I decided to pick it up and film an eye look. I wanna do swatches, so you guys can decide if you're gonna pick this up. Um, it's the 39L Hit The Lights palette and this is their holiday collection I believe. It also came out with a liquid lipstick slash gloss set and then their mist and they have like two brush sets as well and I would totally recommend the liquid lipstick slash gloss set. I've never tried Morphe glosses but the liquid lips are amazing and I can't tell you guys how many times people ask me when I'm wearing Morphe True Story and there's a mini True Story in that kit as well as some of my other favorite favorite Morphe liquid lipsticks. So I did post on my Instagram and I was like, get it. It's like my favorite Morphe liquid lipsticks if you guys can get your hands on it. And I also was able to pick up the P. Louise face base. What is this called? Just the P. Louise eye base, I guess. And they are being sold at Morphe now. And I really want the white shade, but it's sold out online and in store but I was able to get Rumor 05, which should work on my skin tone. So I got a lot of really fun new stuff, and then I'm gonna do a separate video, first impressions of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation and concealer, because I did pick those up as well. So yeah, intro, not intro, but I wanted to show you guys this palette, and I'm a little bit like shook that I have it, because don't really buy a lot of Morphe anymore. And, oh my gosh, I was so excited. Found this at the Starbucks. In one of the Starbucks stores at Mall of America. This is the Starbucks Tumblr. Every, like, season or so, they come out with, like, one that's, like, the coveted one. And so this season, it's, like, this hot pink. It's so pretty. I have this texture in the matte black. And I also have it in the white. 
I'm so glad I picked up the pink. Oh my gosh, let me know down in the comments if you guys are crazy like me and collect Starbucks mugs because I definitely collect the tumblers. So, lots of chit chat happening. I have so much makeup all around me. Tis the season, guys. So, let's get started. This packaging is cute. It says, you're gonna make them dance with this ultimate light show featuring shades curated by artists and creators who know how to bring the party. This palette is an explosion of blinding brights, hypnotic hues, silk slip toppers, zero gravity highlighters, and beyond. Swipe them on and see where the night goes. So, very cute packaging. I am pretty impressed that they didn't go with their standard black packaging. And I'll show this more in the intro and stuff. 12 month shelf life. Made in China. And this palette was pricey, guys. I was actually shocked. I was talking to Angie and Amy while I was debating purchasing this. And I was pretty shook. So here it is. It's one of those big palettes. It's like the original James Charles palette. So each of these sections is curated by a different artist. I'm going to say artist because I'm not sure if it's like an Instagrammer or a makeup artist. But hopefully you guys can get a look. So that's what the divisions of the shades are. I was actually really impressed with the section created by Vic, Vic, Vikram because it has the neons and some beautiful duochromes. The rest is like eh. This highlighter shade called Strobing really caught my attention because I was like that's different. Like it's like the beautiful like purple but in like a highlighter size. So I was pretty impressed by that for like Morphe. I was like what? Like Morphe, what? So, okay, I've like blabbered on enough and enough and enough. I'm really dying to try out the neons because like, I can't remember the last time Morphe did like a neon look or like a neon palette other than like James Charles. And those were like colorful shadows. I didn't really think of them as neons. And I have the P. Louise base now. So basically my eye looks are unstoppable. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know that. So you guys know I'm a sucker for green. And therefore, I'm going to go into the green shade. Okay, next I want to go into the yellow shade. Okay, now I want to pop this red. These two reds look very similar. There's a red here and a red here, but just to be different, I'm gonna go to the red in the corner. It was also really fun to see like how different stores treat you <laughs> based on like your, not, I, want, I don't wanna say appearance, but it was kind of funny. Like there's one day when we went to the mall where I had like my makeup done versus a day that I didn't have my makeup done. And everyone at the Morphe store was still like super nice, even when I didn't have like a ton of makeup on. But like um, at like Sigma, like the girl was like, oh yeah, this is our new collab brush. Oh no, first she's like, yeah, um, we're known for our brushes. And I'm like, mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> it's like that meme where people, it says like, I know more than you or something <laughs> like, the Sephora memes um, that people post, <laughs> like, it was really funny. I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Like, obviously you can't tell, like I'm a YouTuber and I'm not gonna like walk around the store and be like, oh yeah, it's fine. I know who you guys collab with Sigma. Like, I, I'm i a YouTuber, <laughs> like I'm not gonna do that. So <laughs> it was really funny when the lady was like, telling me about Sigma brushes and I want to be like, yeah, I have your brushes. I just wanted to see them in store because I always buy them online, like, <laughs> you know, so it was pretty funny. Okay, I decided to pull the red out a little bit because I never give myself a wing and I thought, why not? <laughs> it's a little intense. I wish the yellow would do a little bit more, some, some, but I guess you can see it because I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and you can see it so that's good but I really can't blend these you see when I like press 
it works way better. And I'm just gonna stop right there and stop putting things on. Okay, so for the lid shade, I might go in with this shade. It's, it looks white, but it's actually like a duochrome. They like sold me this whole palette on the duochromes. I was like, what? Morphe did duochrome? Say what? Like, it was pretty impressive, so. I'm just taking a dry Morphe brush and I'm just going into the shade. It's like a white with like a blue um, flip to it. So I'm just gonna try and pack that on my lid. Okay, let me try experiment. I'm scared because I never do cut creases, but let's try a cut crease. Okay, I put the P. Louise base on. Oh God, I feel like everything just moved. And I kind of want to use this Kaleidos highlighter I got because I think it'll complement the shades in my crease better. This is in the shade Space Age. And I just want to plop that on top of my P. Louise base. It sort of worked. <laughs> I should have just left the mats. Holy magoli. <laughs> oh, this is why people practice. Okay. Um, I can't remember what the trick is. Is it look up? Okay, yeah, that's where you're supposed to stop the cut creases. Where your lid hits. Gotta try something new every once in a while. <laughs> oh my god. This Kaleidos highlighter is gorgeous. I just thought it would go with the greens and the yellows. Um, there's a really pretty duochrome in the Morphe palette too that has a ton of um, green with like a red flip to it. But I thought this would be kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of kind of want to start over. I'm scared. What do we think? I think I need to start over. I think I hate this eye look. Okay, guys. I do this sometimes when I'm not like really feeling something. So I'm just going to start over because I want to film a few other videos today with this eye look on. And I just don't feel confident. So I'm just going to take this off and we're going to start over. And that's totally okay. I like to show you guys these fail sometimes because... Honestly, they don't happen to me very often, but you know, it is what it is. It's okay. So we're just taking it off. We're taking it off. Now I think I'm gonna go in. Oh, this section is cute too. It's like a sunset section. I like the reds too. So many options. I'm gonna do reds. I think that will be fun. So I'm gonna take the shade that I was using on my outer corner and kind of start off putting that in again to the outer corner and then I'm going to blend it in. Okay, I like how that red laid down. Now I'm going to go in to the shade next to it which is like a deeper red and I'm going to stick that in the outer corner with the same brush just to give it some dimension because why not? So now I want to go into the shade over here. It's a dark red. And again, putting that kind of in the outer corner. See if I can give it some depth. Just gonna go into a smaller brush and go in with that first red. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a more tapered brush and go into this black shade, which does have glitter in it, but Oh, there's a matte black. Never mind. Gonna go into the matte. Oh god, that was a lot of pigment. And then just place that on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go into the bigger blending brush and just bring that in a little halfway and just create that dimension. Okay, now I need like an amazing lid color. Okay, so there is a beautiful like red. I'm gonna try and pop that on the lid. What do we think? I 
think we like it. I don't usually use my finger, but I want to get like a lot of shimmer on the lid. So I'm gonna, this is, I feel like such a good like holiday, Christmassy vibes. <laughs> And if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can still appreciate a good red makeup look, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go into my shader and pack that on. Now I want to try it wet, so I'm going to grab my brush, pack it on, grab this little Herbivore Rose Spray. Spray it. Ooh. Wow, this has beautiful sparkles in it. Okay, just gonna go back in with a smaller brush and just blend the shimmers into the crease so there's no harsh line. And then I'm gonna take the flat brush and go in to that highlighting shade as well. I like to mix colors just to give it like a nice pop of something something and I'm just gonna clean up and I will come back and do my lower lash line for you guys okay guys so I have a foundation on and a concealer I'm doing a first impressions on the foundation and concealer so make sure you subscribe so you can see that so it's not a very full coverage foundation which is different for me because I'm usually like mask you know i love that look so i'm going to go in with this color pop pencil liner in venus this is like one of the good color pop liners oh my gosh it glides on so smooth like it's amazing i use it all the time when i do pink and red eye looks i also have the linda hallberry one but the color pop one is cheaper and it's actually really good and i feel like color pops definitely like hit or miss when it comes to the eyeliners so when I find a good one I feel like I need to give it a shout out okay guys so now we're gonna go back into the palette to finish off the lower lash line and I'm gonna grab a small pencil brush this is the morphe m560 it's nice and pointed and I love how firm the bristles are so I'm just gonna go into that bright red that is in my crease and I'm just gonna slowly place that in my lash line trying to be careful because sometimes I can get a little wild with my lash line and it goes like down to my nose okay next I want to go into the dark reds so I'm gonna go into this one and this brown and just leave that on the outer corner and since you guys know I've been getting into inner corner highlights I'm gonna go into this shade right here this white shade and I'm gonna pop that into the inner corner sometimes you can't see these inner corner shades because my eyeshadow is so bright but hopefully I'm making my inner corner highlight fairy godmother Amy very proud with the love I have for inner corner highlights now because definitely say she is my inspiration <laughs> for that so I like it I need to do my brows and stuff so I'm gonna do that off camera and I will be right back hey guys so my brows are done and I really wanted to try out this blush on camera I have a few of the different monochromatic blush duos from cover effects but I did pick this one up during the Sephora sale because everyone's been raving about it I honestly didn't originally pick it up because I was worried that it was too light for my skin tone but it came available during the sale and I was like let me grab it it is soft peach so I still feel like it's too light for me but everyone says these are so pigmented so I'm just gonna try it out oh god there's like blush everywhere this is soft peach oh <laughs> I feel like it's too light definitely feels too light Aw, dang. Oh, I like the shimmer side. These freaking blushes are so expensive, though. I can't imagine keeping it just for the shimmer side. But I... 
Ooh, I like that glow, but I feel like I need blush. I feel like I need to add some some and I feel like I've been loving this guy This is the bounce and blur mauve sunrise. I got this in a sample Look at that. It's such a pretty color and it feels like a color pop Super shock blush, which I like the color pop super shock blushes I just use a regular brush and I just go in extra hand so I really like how that's looking and then for highlighter, I'm going to use Space Age from Kaleidos. These are their new highlighters. They sent them to me. I'm going to do a full swatch party on these. And this is like a pink shade. Oh, shit. I may have just gone overboard. I may have just gone a little bit, a little bit overboard. You know what? I feel like this look is very freaking festive though, so overboard it is. <laughs> and I never wear pink highlighter. So whatever, it's a vibe. And so yeah, I am gonna do a lippy and some mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that whole demo section. Hopefully it was quick and wasn't like hours worth of footage of me putzing around. I did decide to throw on eyelashes, which I never do, but I feel like this is such a festive look. I feel very Christmassy and then I wanted to pair it with a monochromatic lip, so I chose the shade Sorbet. This is a colored rain liquid lipstick. I love their liquid lipsticks. They don't feel extra dry by any means, but they do stay put and I feel like this shade really works well with the earrings and the highlight and the lashes and the eyeshadow. So that turned out great. And then as far as the Cover FX blush, I think that's definitely gonna have to go back. I do really like the Kaleidos highlighter. It's definitely very different for me. I definitely wanna do a swatch party video of that highlighter collection and show you guys the different shades. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see all those videos and things like that. As far as this eyeshadow palette, would I recommend you purchasing this? I would say if you have a makeup collection like I do or if you have in excess of like 50 palettes, this is probably not something you're going to need in your collection, but I can totally see this palette being somebody's like beginner dream palette. I love that there's some neutrals, you know, some red neutrals, some really, really neutral shades. I do think this pressed glitter formula is pretty good. I haven't actually used it on my eyes, but from the swatch, it didn't feel like there were big chunks of glitter, so I think that would give a really nice effect to your eyes, and I really like the roll of highlighters. I think Morphe is really stepped up their foil formula, so I'm excited to, to play with those. And yeah, everything played pretty well together on my face. Of course, I definitely need to try this out more, but first impressions, I do think it's a, it's a good palette. Like, is it my favorite palette? Like, am I gonna throw away all my other palettes and only use this one? No, but I am a review channel, so I thought it would be fun to share a review with you guys on this palette. Of course, this is just a first impression. It's not a review, like a full-blown review. And honestly, I feel like I buy so many palettes, I never get around to like a full-blown review of palettes anymore. We're gonna work on that in 2020. But yeah, I like it, and I like that they did this cool packaging. So let me show you this palette against some of my other Morphe palettes. So I definitely think you guys are gonna be surprised as to how many Morphe palettes I have because I'm surprised I still have this many, but the electric lights, what is this called? The Hit The Lights palette is very reminiscent of what they are doing more recently now. So this is the first palette they launched that had this layout. This was their holiday palette, I believe of 2017 or 18, the 39A. And basically it has all these muted jewel tone type colors and then a row of neutrals in the middle. They do the bigger size pans in the middle because those are said to be your most used shades. I haven't really used this palette a whole lot. I kind of bought it because of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. She like raves about that palette so I bought it when it restocked because it was supposed to be super limited edition. Here's another Morphe palette that I've literally used one time. This is the Morphe X James Charles palette and this came out around holiday last year as well. I was really 
eyeing this, but I didn't buy it. And then my old coworker, who I call mom, purchased this for me for my birthday. So again, it's got some shimmers in it, mostly like mattes, colorful stuff. And so that is that palette. And then of course I have the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I also do have the Volt collection, but I am decluttering that. I put it up for sale on my Poshmark and I really don't want to reference that in this video. These shimmers are probably the best shimmer formula Morphe's ever done and the shimmers in the Hit the Lights palette definitely feel very close to the Jaclyn Hill formula, which I think is nice. Now, the two palettes I showed you before, before that have the same layout do not have the exciting textures and the different formulas as this palette does. So definitely if I had to rank them, I would rank this one as my favorite Morphe palette that I've owned so far because it has diverse shades, it's got diverse textures, it's got dual chromes. Like they really kind of went out there with it, which is great for them. And then the last Morphe palette I've only used like once is the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. This is one of those where I would call it like my clown makeup because I totally just bought it um, even though I like bitched and bitched and bitched about why is, um, you know, Jeffree Star doing a palette with Morphe? Like, he already has a great eyeshadow formula. Why is he doing that? And I still bought it anyway. Honestly, if you could see this in person, it's not even used. I've used the shade Wake and Bake and I think maybe like one or two of the mattes. But this needs to get used and I need to film a video with it. I don't even know if you guys are still interested in this palette, but... I'm gonna do it anyway, and this palette has like a pressed glitter and stuff like that. So this would be one of the first Morphe palettes that I own that has those different textures. But this one, honestly, I feel like they've come such a long way. I used to go hard for the 35-0, the 35 shimmer, the 35 matte. I, I used to buy all of those palettes. I was heavily drinking the Morphe Kool-Aid because I was such a huge Jaclyn Hill fan and every time she recommended a Morphe product, I was all over it. And then I went through, it like ebbs and flows. My interest in different brands, I'm never gonna like cancel a brand, but I don't know, sometimes I'm really interested, sometimes I'm not interested. I was in such a great place when I was at the Morphe store because I picked up the cons conspiracy palette, I picked up the, uh, what, the, what's the other one called? The, I don't know, the, the Shane Dawson collabs, I picked those up and then I was just having a good time. Morphe has some great products, like, honestly, I love their liquid lipsticks. I do think their brushes are worth it. Some of them are really good. I used to be part of the Morphe Monthly Brush Club, so I have a lot of brushes from them. And honestly, I can't afford to just throw away all my Morphe brushes. So I definitely want to buy more high quality brushes when I need something, but you will see a majority of my brushes are Morphe brushes. I also swatch a lot of their eyeliners in store and those eyeliners felt really good. I, yeah, I think it's an experience. If you ever get a chance to go inside and check out a Morphe store, I would totally recommend. It's actually pretty fun. So this was the one that they had that huge meet and greet at as well. I was at the Morphe store at the Mall of America. So I'm really happy that I have the option to go and see these products in person. They also now carry Beauty Bakery, Nabla. There's so many other brands going into Morphe stores, which I think is great. So I love that. I love being able to access indie brands that we haven't been able to do before. That's really, really exciting for me as a makeup lover. Anyway, I feel like I'm reviewing Morphe stores now, so I'm gonna go. That was a first impression. Let me know if you wanna see more looks with this palette. I'd be happy to try and film more with it. Let me know if you are planning on picking it up or if it's on your Christmas list. I think it's a good palette to put on there. It's definitely one of the better palettes I've seen Morphe do. I also really like the packaging. Like I said, it does not have a mirror, which doesn't bother me because I never use the mirrors in palettes anyway. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and who's excited for the holidays? I am. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys!